if you want to get started making pop-ups, making a box pop-up is a great place to start. You see, this is just a box there that's popping out, and I've, I've glued a flower onto it. And this starts with a, a full sheet of paper. And I've used only half the paper for the pop-up, the lower half of the paper, because otherwise, when it's closed, you see this, this bite taking out of the paper. So by using a full sheet of paper and folding it down in half, like that, you can't tell the pop-ups inside, and so it's a surprise. So, the way I start is, let's start with this piece of paper. Full sheet of paper, and fold it in half. Now, when I fold it in half, that's that's an important part, actually. You don't need any fancy equipment to make these pop-ups, but you do need really good folds. So I'm going to fold it in half. I, I put my uh, finger right here so it uh, so I can line it up more easily. And I'm holding it, sliding across, and going up and down. Now that's a pretty good fold, but it's not the best fold. The best fold would be turning it, turning that fold backwards, lining it up again, doing the same thing, holding it, going up and down, and now that's been folded twice. I'm going to do it one more time, because a pop-up needs a really good fold. So that's a really good fold. Now, remember, we're only using the lower half of this paper to make the pop-up. So I'm going to make, I'm going to cut two lines. I think of this as like an 11. Okay? It can be big, it can be little, up, down a little bit lower, but just start off with something that looks like an 11. You don't want to go too far over. Um, you don't want to go past sort of like what you think of the middle mark. But if you just sort of stick with thinking about this as an 11, that's fine. And notice those lines are drawn on the folded edge of the paper. Okay? So, after a while, you might not even need a pencil to make your 11s. There you go. Cut. Cut. Now, we already have one really great fold here, and that's not going to give us the pop-up. See? There's no pop-up there. We need a fold right here at the edge of our little 11s. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it one way, make a really good fold, and then I'm going to fold it the other way, right on that same fold. The thing is, if you make a really tight fold, it's easy to make it go back and forth. Okay, so there we go. There we go. And you can see we still don't have a pop-up. That's okay, we're not worried about that yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece now and fold it in, in half. That way when we do get the pop-up, we don't have, we don't see it from the outside. So there it is, it's still not a pop-up, all right? Fold it in half, and it's still not a pop-up. I still have one more step to do. I'm going to take that little piece that I had cut and bring it forward. Even if it's flat, I can bring it forward. You can see how it's making the box. And there I've got my pop-up. Now, you can do a lot of things with this. You can just leave it the way it is. You can put birthday candles up here. You could uh, make a little uh, door and a window and a roof and it's like a house. Or you can take something else and glue it right onto there. So if you have a if you have a little story you're trying to tell, you can you can uh, draw whatever you want and put it on there. Let's see. I'm going to put this. I think I'll put this one on. I'll put this one on. So what you want to do is just glue on. If you do this, just glue on one side of here, and just put glue on where you need it to stick. So I just need it to stick behind the stem and at the top of the the top of the leaves here. Put a little glue on there. 
use a glue stick or whatever glue you like. stick out and there now I have a nice little card that's got some of my little flowers on it okay and that's it that should get you started with making pop-ups